flare the canal to partially remove canal contents and establish patency to your temporary working length. To ensure proper apex locator measurements, verify that the canal is not completely dry. Fill the canal with an electrolytic solution like chlorosid or chlorosid V 3% sodium hypochlorite to ensure a good conductive medium for a proper signal and readout. Suction the excess solution from the pulp chamber with a capillary tip, leaving only the canal wet. Depending on the size of the canal, insert a number 15 hand K file or another appropriate file into the canal. Now get ready to perform the electronic measurement by turning the apex locator on. Plug the measurement cable into the left side of the device and make sure that the cable icon appears on the bottom left corner of the display. Plug the file clip and the lip clip into the measuring cable. Then touch the metal portion of the file clip to the lip clip. The connection icon should appear, demonstrating the electronic circuit is operating properly. Place the lip clip into the patient's mouth. Connect the file clip to the file. Endoe's find will automatically detect the root canal measurement has started. If the electrical contact is good and the conductivity of the root canal is sufficient, the file icon inside the small tooth image will stop blinking and a double beep audio signal will sound. The find apex locator will now display the around distance from the file tip to the apical foramen. Slowly advance the file towards the apical region. Continue to advance the file, moving it smoothly in a watch winding motion. As the instrument progresses towards the foramen, color segments inside the root canal image and audio signals with different frequencies will indicate the file's progression. Numerical readings appear under the tooth icon. When the fine unit returns a numerical reading of 0.0, .0 accompanied by a constant audio tone, and the first red dot has appeared in the schematic, the tip of the file is at the apical foramen. Use cotton pliers to push the stopper down to the reference point. The working length for the canal can now be established. Determine the working length using an endodontic ruler. To establish the working length, subtract 0.5 to 1 mm from the electronic length. The operator can check the position of the file anytime during the instrumentation using the touch probe. Simply touch the probe to the file while the file is in the working length position.